I'm Dean. And I'm Hank. And, and we have down on the bros. Today, we're at the drum fields. We're at Armfest, which is a stop by Yeah, you, you might remember our friends from some previous videos. This is Xander. And this is Lily. We're two and a half hours southwest from Dysart, which is where we live. Which, if you didn't know, this is a sapphire mine, and we're going to come looking for sapphires. We're also going to go to some other places. Come on, let's go search at this one. You come here, and you get a bag of wash, or a bucket, and you can either do it here, or take it home. This is what we're looking for today. We'll put in, we'll put in some. We're sifting out all of the small rocks that most likely aren't sapphires and if they are too small to do anything with. So there's two levels of sifting. There's a thicker mesh on the top to keep out the bigger rocks and then there's a smaller mesh here to get keep all the good good sized rocks and sapphires. Sometimes you find big sapphires. We like to look through dry because then we can get the sparkle of the sapphire. But after we think we've got them all, we put them in the Willoughby, which is just behind you. Well, we did it a certain way. And look at what happened. They're all in this area. There's some out on the outskirts as well. Found a couple of big sapphires already. Yeah, you spread them off from the edges, make a bit of the big stuff again, and then when you soak them there, you give it a shake, and you have to try and create like a ripple effect in the middle, and that sort of creates like a suction, and it pulls all the bigger, the heavier, the heavier stuff into the middle, and yeah, it looks like we got it right if you look at this, more or less. There's one here. This is a six sided yeah. sapphire. Yeah. That's it. This little jelly seems real nice. I can come up and give him a pack. Such a big stone. Yeah. Okay, this one here will cut and that one will cut. Now, if I put them that side, see that's a star sapphire. See that? What they do, they cabbage on him up and over like the cabin of a car. Only one? And these ones here will cut like that. And that one's a ripper, absolute pearler. You can get a good, good one out of that one. You, could even get that one Australian cut if you wanted to. So these ones you can cut, and that one there is super special. Do you want to keep that one out? Um, yes, please. These are your show and tell. Now I'm going to check my stone. Whilst what lot were deans. Okay. These ones here will cut like that, mm. and that's a really nice zircon. It's, it'll cut much bigger than them. And there, it's a star. We'll stick him in there just in case because I can see quite a bit of colour in him. So we'll stick him in there. If he gets rejected, he gets rejected. So these ones here, show and tell. We'll be going to Strudel over in Ruby Vale. That's what's next up. The Dan Under Brothers are going to be conducting a very exciting experiment. They've gone to a bunch of places around the gem field to make, collect mosh, and they're going to compare the size, the quantity, and the quality of each sapphire and stone. I can't wait to hear the results. I'll be watching every step of the way. Now we're going to check out this place, Gemfields Fossicking. Oh, we've heard they're really good. 
and they show you what to do when you're a learner. If you guys really want to check this out, I think you guys should come here. It'll be a great experience for you. What do you do? Pulls all the fines out and then the rocks fall out there. So you so as you're digging your dirt out of the ground, you put it in there and it cleans it for you. Oh. Got a good setup. They've got all sorts of strainers, places you can find your gems, and all sorts of other things. So we've got a set of sieves here. We've got two sieves. One's coarse on the top, fine one on the bottom. So we're going to sit down there. We're going to grab the dirt, pour some in. This is what we call a shaker. So we're just going to grab it by the handles there and we're going to shake all that silt out of it. Just like that. Once we've got all that silt out, we're going to transfer it into this bucket so we can then go and take it over and wash it. So that's one way, that's, a, that's what we call the shaker. Over there we've got the throw screen. So what, over here you'd put the bucket on here, the whole bucket all at once, go like that, and all the stones come out and all the silt goes through, and it's really fast. So that's what, that's what I take out when I go digging. It's nice and quick. It's called a throw screen. I used to call it a throw screen because I used to, when there was a lot, a lot of surface sapphires around, I used to just get the shovel and just flick it at it. That's why it's called a throw screen. So you can do half a bucket on that and then do the other half on here. Have a go at all of it. So I've got this sapphire and it's mine. That's it, one at a time. Thing as well. And it's just a short, short little jabs like that. If you're going like that, nothing really happened. But when you're doing like that, you can hear the rocks bouncing. So that means Plus they're the washing. the ripples moves all the yep. sapphires into the middle. And if you do a good job, and you get that little peak in the middle there, that creates a negative pressure. And all the heavies, what we call heavies, sapphires, zircons, zinestone, They'll all fall into that little area, and then when you flip it, it'll be the ring of confidence. All sapphires and heavies waiting for you. So That's we're going right. to get, just like flipping a cake, we're going to get our hands underneath, and we're going to get out and back, just like this. Right. So all the sapphires will be sitting on the top, right, because they're heavy, so they are falling to the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good one. Well, that's heaps, so... Okay, yeah, I'm just getting these <laughs> obvious ones. <laughs> like that. Just let them sit there. You don't want to just so they do whatever they want to do. And you just walk along. And when they cross like that, 
That means where your feet are, the sapphires are water. It won't happen on just one sapphire, but I concentrate, I'll go and get some. Mark here from Gen Gemfield's Foster King Park has found a lot of cutting stones. He's found them from Tomahawk Creek and he's shown us them. Have a look. Oh, and there you've got the rods. Just incredible. Look, it worked on that many. It's nature at its best. Here's some sapphires that Mark has had cut. Let's have a look at them. I reckon this place was amazing. They had to get, if they gave us a star rating, I'd give it a five star rating. Great customer service. We found a bunch of gems and, well, just, just great up customer service. We're going to go check out another place of their gem, gem display. It's only here. So we're inside at Sapphire Showcase. They've got all sorts of already made rings, earrings, and lots of other jewelry. But they've also got some un some stones that are uncut, cut, and also rings that have been made. So you can kind of customize your feel, and you can put your own gem in there. Come on, I'll show you what those ones look like. That was amazing looking around Sapphire Showcase. Thanks for coming to the gym fields with us, guys. And they. Oh, well, that's it. They're all. Thank so, yeah. So, we've got five out of them. We've got a couple of little three next time. Just let them dry out. Take home more. See you next time, fellas. Bye. Toodles.